So now you've opened your bottle of wine and before you know it, it's found its way from the bottle onto somewhere it really doesn't belong. You know, it could be a, a tablecloth, a couch, your clothes, you name it. It finds its way there. There are all kinds of home remedies out there uh, to get the red wine stain out of the fabric of the day. In this particular episode, we're going to take a look at the do's and don'ts of getting red wine stains out, and there are going to be a whole lot more don'ts than there are do's. Come on, let's get after this. I'm Pierre and welcome to Assy Wine Consultants. As we learn more about wine, we uh, see there are all kinds of ups and downs to our beloved juice. An age-old problem is, how do I get the red wine stain out once I've spilled my wine? Well, I've drunk my share and spilled my share of wine in my day. In this episode, we're going to look at some of the successful and not so successful remedies uh, to this particular problem. Now, keep in mind, if at any time you like what you hear, just click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when there's a new post. I really would appreciate it. And I'll also share this with a friend. I'm sure they'd appreciate it also. Now, one thing to remember is that red wine has in it tannins. Tannins are the things that cause your mouth to dry out when you're drinking your wine. Tannins are also the main thing that makes the stain so hard to remove. So that means the hints that I give you today will also work on other products that contain tannins, like tea and coffee. But first, let's talk about what not to do. Here are some home remedies that are often used which have either limited success or no success at all in removing red wine stains. Now, in all fairness, uh, you may have some success with these products, especially with smaller stains, but in my experience, these methods just really don't cut it. Bar soap will set the stain. Salt only lightens the stain. Club soda, the idea behind this is that um, the bubbles will, will help draw the stain out. <laughs> Wrong, doesn't work. At best, it lightens the stain. Shaving cream, the idea here is that, the, that you apply the shaving cream, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and with ample amounts of water, blot it up with your paper towels. This is pretty much a waste of 15 minutes. The stain will be lightened, but that's about it. White wine does a relatively good job, but this can be somewhat expensive. And oh, to me, why waste the wine when there are better solutions? Let's move on to some more effective methods. In our tests, we found that two approaches had moderate success. First, we have salt and hot boiling water. Be generous with the salt. You may still have a faint stain, but with darker fabrics, it's virtually unnoticeable. If you use this method on clothing, throw whatever it is in the washer right away or take it to the cleaners. Now for carpets and sofas, blot them dry extremely well and then vacuum up any of the, the salt residue. Now another moderately successful solution is vinegar and soap and water, particularly with darker fabrics. Here you concoct a, a mixture of one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of dish soap and two cups of water. You take a sponge, generously soak it in your solution and apply it. Sort of, sort of saturate your stain. Dab it. Don't rub it or scrub it. Uh, that will spread it. Repeat this until the stain is out and then rinse with cold water and then dab with your paper towels until dry. Now, some people use hydrogen peroxide with this concoction. If you're doing this, you need to, to be real careful with darker fabrics or carpets. This can become a bleaching agent. Also, uh, don't mix the hydrogen peroxide uh, with, with the vinegar. It becomes an acid and is not good for your fabric. 
By the way, how are you doing there? Is this information helpful? If it is, write red wine in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. The two best methods for removing red wine stains. One is OxyClean and the other is this red wine stain remover. Now whether you're dealing with tablecloths, carpets, upholstery, or clothing, even white clothing, OxyClean is pretty simple to use. Just follow the directions on the container or the box. Oh, also one thing uh, to remember about OxyClean. On darker fabrics, it'll remove the stain, but uh, get the OxyClean out relatively quickly. If you allow it to stay on too long, it could potentially lighten the fabric. Just rinse with a whole lot of cold water. Uh, finally, the Asti Wine Consultant's Red Wine Stain Remover. This is my favorite. It's 100% biodegradable, works best on wet stains like coffee, juice, soda, tea, and of course wine, and on fabrics except uh, silk and leather. This is simple to use. Make sure you shake the bottle gently. Spray directly onto the fabric, saturate it pretty well. Uh, you know, about 10 sprays, maybe a little bit more. Uh, an overspray won't damage the fabric or carpet. Blot up the stain with a paper towel. If there's any noticeable stain in a couple of hours, just resaturate the area. This is the one I personally use. That's why you'll find it in our online shop. I really do encourage you to, to check it out. Just click this link. If you have any questions about using our stain remover, feel free to send me an email or just let me know in the comment section of this video. Well, there you have it. The do's and don'ts about removing red wine stains. Oh, and of course, the best solution is just keep your wine in your glass. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.